Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Candace has been busy, y'all. <laughs> I've been, um, I had a couple of good things, uh, some contacts made on Facebook Marketplace, and we're going to show you one of those buys right now, and then maybe later in this video, we'll show you something else. Candace cooked up three, three deals in the past couple of days so we're going to take a look at all of them i think she's doing great this first one i have a good feeling it's a home run um i've got 30 32 monster high dolls and one manster a manster <laughs> Monster. Huh? plus these um like shit don't know what you like play set stuff like Accessories shower or bathtub, or... yeah and um like this one i've never i didn't know they made the big ones like this it's really cool <clears throat> So this was on Marketplace for 50 bucks. I think I just happened to um, go on Marketplace not too long after she posted it because I reached out to her and she's like, I have a lot of interest in this. I'm like, you know, I will send you money right away. So yeah, I, I, sight unseen. And yeah, she said, I, I, okay. told, I told Candace, I was like, look, <laughs> if she looks legit and you feel good about it, go ahead and pay her and ask her to take the listing down. Yeah, I did double check with her because I know we've talked about in the past, their hands are so fragile that most of the time they're broken off. Um, these are all intact. Some of them are missing their shoes. Most of them have sh shoes and accessories, but they're all intact, no broken hands. We just pulled them all out and looked at them. If, if and you, they're all super clean too. If you had to guess, I'm not gonna hold you to this obviously, but. I don't, I, I mean, I, I can't guess. You don't even know, you have no idea the value? I've not sold enough of them to know. Okay. Um, yeah i did look a few of them up like um i, I looked him up because i know that they're going to be more rare usually when it comes to boy dolls they are because the girls didn't want them um, and same thing with boys yeah. not wanting girl dolls right like with gi joe's yeah so he's like twenty dollars um and i looked this stuff up just out of curiosity because it's so big like this little this little groupie right here is like twenty dollars so that's most of the money oh i don't know if we told you i paid 50 for all of this yeah um so yeah no doubt we're gonna make money it's just a question of how much no know? i think you killed it here that's yeah. awesome uh, and like i said we got uh, we got orders to pull this morning i guess candace you're gonna start listing these guys i am i'm probably i'm gonna do some of this this morning then we have our little outing to go to then this afternoon excuse me this afternoon i'm probably gonna mix in some different stuff i don't like just doing all of our listings one thing yeah um and I guess I'll make a Monster High category in our store. I think we should. Yeah. We, we've made an American Girl one, so now we'll have a Monster High category. It's really good. Like, if your collectors come looking and they see you have a category, they'll keep checking back. Oh, they're going to eat this up. Yeah. They're totally going to so, eat this up. Super huh? excited about my find. You should be. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. We do have some orders to pull this morning, so let's go ahead and get started. We, we got a little busy day today. A little nice little busy Monday. First thing we're pulling is this green Tupperware Servalier canister. Uh, $14.99 plus shipping on top for that. Candace cleaned it up and it looks great now. Yeah, I don't remember if you saw the haul video. It was, it was dirty. No, it looks good <laughs> now. Looks good as new. I just soaked it in some hot dishwashing soap and it just came right off what uh what we pay for that a buck or 50 something? cents 50 cents okay yeah. seven bravo we sold a water filter thing this hiker pro sold for i think almost 50 bucks yeah 48 dollars and 59 cents plus shipping on top had a lot of these water filter type things and they're selling pretty well all right, we just listed, Candace just listed this Miami Dolphins sweatshirt. Here we go. It's right here. There we go. Um, we got this. Oh, we don't know when we got this. This is in our death pile. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that, that's vintage made in USA. That sold for, I think, about 30 and then the cool thing is, well, there's a couple of cool things. Number one, the Dolphins kicked butt this weekend. They had a really nice victory, come from behind with Tua. 
he played his you know what off six touchdowns i think he had uh but then they also got uh on this same order they got a couple of dolphins starting lineup so let's go grab this okay so i already pulled this dan marino and then i have another box pulled out for this other dan marino he's wearing his little belly shirt here <laughs> that's a funny pose but yeah all this stuff right here goes together pocket 40 we sold one of these britain's mounted oh no this one doesn't have a horse this is just a uh highlander with oh it's a bagpipe guy that's cool that's actually really cool $14.99 plus shipping on top for him oh yeah he's awesome oh he's perfect condition too collector's item unsuitable for persons under 14 as product may contain lead and have sharp points sold some gi joe blueprints this binder right here Let's see which one am i looking for uh six bravo 18. we had sold just about all of them out of here and then i think candace found some more and added them okay number 18. last time i shipped one of these Y'all said that, or one of y'all had said I grabbed the wrong one, so, and I didn't. I was just looking at the different side. Air Chariot Instructions, Serpentor, that's it. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. Five Bravo, right here. Thought, thought about keeping this, but decided to sell it. I think we had $3 into this keyboard. And sold it for $19.99 plus shipping on top. It sold really fast too. Just like Apple stuff always does. We actually have another starting lineup going out. B3. Here we go. This one is a John Elway Denver Broncos. That sold for $8.99 plus ship. Packing up that last round I just showed you all. That stuff's over there. Uh, this John Elway though, B3. He's going to have a fellow passenger on his trip. Let's see, B3. I'm looking for another Dan Marino. SU2 B9. SU2 right here. And we're looking for B9. It's going to be on this side. B9. Here we go. This Dan Marino is shipping along with that John Elway. And look, oh boy, there's Brett Favre. Hey, Brett. <laughs> How you doing in there, buddy? More orders to pull. Let's see. On the cube, in the cube, we have a video game. Here we go. I just listed this one, I think, Friday. Zelda Twilight Princess for Wii. This sold for $10.99 plus ship. Okay, Alien Drawer. We sold some Star Wars RPG figs. A lot of four of them. One, two, three, four. These are them right here. These guys sold for $9.99 plus ship. In pocket 80, we sold a uh sold this. Some kind of uh little parts for G.I. Joe. $6.99 plus shipping for that. Eight Charlie, we sold a baseball glove. This one right here. It's pretty nice. Wilson a5 i think it's an a500 yeah a500 pretty decent condition the only issue it really had was the uh writing here which is fairly common with used gloves 29.99 plus shipping for that glove cc5 so over here supposedly there is oh there are i didn't even know there were vhs tapes over here this is the one we're looking for this Godzilla versus Biollante. Wow, that's some cool cover art there. This sold for $9.99 plus ship. I didn't even notice this sold over the weekend. I just listed this the other day. Here we go. This Wilson Hammer tennis racket. Look at look how thick this frame is. It's crazy. It's pretty light. It's also oversized. 
Uh, that sold for $35.99 plus shipping. Then also in the little cube things over here, CC6 sold some brushes. Might be this. Burt's Bees. No, that's not it. Ah, this is them right here. Blend and Blur. Oh, these are big. These are a little chunkier than I expected. Uh, this, these two brushes sold for $17.99 plus shipping on top. How's your Monster High coming? Good. I'm on... This is my third listing, and after this, I'm in the profit. Okay. What's that listing for? 20 20 and you've already done a 30 and a 10 Yep. They're pretty good. 8 Alpha. We sold a little Harry Potter metals thing i don't know why it's up oh it, it's bigger than i thought okay i didn't realize i thought it was a little a small thing it's a big thing i don't remember this i swear i don't remember this when did we get this do you remember getting this i do i'm trying to remember where and how much we paid oh my gosh my my mind is blank it's a cool set though because look yeah, it's got it's, it's got it's all the, the Gryffindor characters. Tower, and it's got little met their metal characters. It's really fun. Like if I was a huge fan of Harry Potter, I would have to have this. And I guess they have other scenes too, right? If they sell, uh, I don't know. Probably so. They I would have imagine. To. Yeah. That's they must ever they don't advertise their other things. Okay, that's cool. That sold for twenty six ninety nine plus ship. While I was packing this racket up, I thought it'd be a good time just to give a reminder to watch your dimensions on priority. Because as you can see, this is gonna be about 28 to 29 inches long once I put the other half of this package on, uh, which means this will be <clears throat> uh, getting that length surcharge. Uh, you get, let's see, 22 to 30 inches long is a four dollar upcharge which ebay will go ahead and do for you but uh if you go over 30 inches now you're looking at 15 dollars <laughs> so uh fortunately tennis rackets it seems like they just about always fall into the uh four dollar surcharge which you know we don't love paying it but it's still doable righty five alpha we sold this guy right here this is a lego bonsai tree which i didn't even know existed until we bought it that day paid 20 dollars for this sold it for 35.99 plus shipping on top it's it was really close to leaving this behind but uh i'm glad i didn't because that's that's a fairly fairly easy ten dollars net profit in the cube, we sold X Files right here. PlayStation One game. This sold for the amount shown on the screen. And then we have another game that goes with this too. On Five Echo, we sold an NES game. I know I saw it in here yeah, a couple weeks ago, maybe. I pulled another spy versus spy. Here we go. We had two of these. This is the other one. Uh, old Mad Magazine spy versus spy game sold for the amount shown on the screen. So all three of these things together. Two Bravo. We sold a hat. Two Bravo. Looking for a hat. Here's a hat. Okay. This hat right here. We bought a. We bought a bunch of hats for like. 25 and 50 cents a piece and a lot of them we had to end up donating because the condition was bad it was dark in there I, I, I showed I showed them on video it wasn't a big deal it was only like I don't know can't no that was those hats were a dollar weren't they we were into them for like 12 bucks 12 bucks for all the hats okay so, yeah. and then like half the hats at least we had to end up either throwing away or donating uh, we did have a couple of decent ones though this was one of them. This is a, see the little Budweiser tag here? 
and this hat is supposed to look like this we we did double check uh this guy sold for i think 24.99 plus shipping on top mu8 we sold another one of those britain's figures now this one this one here no that's that's three of them in there oh that's uh these look like palace guards or something here buckingham palace but the one we're looking for is this guy man these are so clean huh yeah these britain's things i mean they look perfect this guy sold for 22.49 plus shipping on top and these are made in england six echo we sold a book lot six echo it's gonna be right right here this little bag little comic defender bag yep whole little stack of uh beverly clear beverly cleary books which were even popular when i was a kid uh those sold for 14.99 plus shipping on top we bought them at a at a garage sale i do not remember what we paid probably 50 cents a book though if i had to guess three four five yeah that's a good guess and last thing from small's drawer we sold the last of these little knobs for 12.99 plus shipping on top we i think we had uh we had five or six of these available did something kind of weird this i was gonna sell this whole unit as parts and let's see one two three four no yeah that's right one two three four five these are all the smaller ones this is the fifth one we've sold for 13 dollars. so we sold 65 dollars worth of these and then we still have the main uh tuner knob still for sale so i don't know i don't know how i feel about this one because this may just sit here forever now because i took the knobs off of it but i mean no matter what <laughs> We, we still sold the knobs for $65 so far. So I, I can't complain too much. It just seemed seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, we just got back from our meetups for Candace's other stuff that she's been working on. You've been busy. Yeah. Where do y'all see this stuff? We just went and bought how many items? Like about 500? six. No, 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 about 600. Yeah. About 600 items. We're gonna show y'all in just a minute. But before we do that, I'm gonna pull the last order. Actually, I'm not gonna pull it because I'm gonna ship it in the morning. Uh, this actually has two day handling on it and I need a box for it just to wrap it. Uh, but this did sell, gonna get this out in the morning. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna pull that right now. Uh, let me go out to the truck. I'm gonna go grab the stuff that we picked up and then we'll show y'all. This is nuts. Okay. Hi. <laughs> So you probably saw from the thumbnail, but this is what we went to get. How many did we say we have? Well, we bought... This is two separate buys we went to. It yeah. was so weird. Like Marketplace popped up one buy and I responded to him and I came back and another one showed up. It's like, okay, she likes Crown Royal bags. <laughs> so yeah, I, two buys that had just been posted. I was able to snag them. So the first buy that I responded to was 410 bags. 410 bags, and they originally wanted, they were looking for a dollar a bag. They wanted 400, yeah. They wanted, well, yeah. They, they, they didn't price it thinking anybody was gonna buy them all. They were trying to sell like packs of 10 bags right, or whatever. They had them, you can see here, they're like bundled up. There's nine inside each bundle. Now, now the 400 bags is actually the, the Magnums, the uh, 1.75 liter. Instead of the 750 milliliter, like this size right here is yeah. the, the fifth size. But we have 410 bags that are this size, and we offer just from this first box. Right. There's there's kind they're kind of mixed together now. That's why we're tr trying to describe it. We have 400 bags that we paid 200 dollars for, and there are all the this kind here. Yes. Then we made another buy from a lady before that she sold us it was like 150 50, 152 i believe 152 um, bags for 40 dollars yes and and it had it, it has a mix it was mostly big it does have some small 
but it also had some special edition ones in there too right and these are what caught my eye because like these go for about 10 bucks by themselves the lsu ones so um and we've got the football ones here too yeah check and, these out like Look. here's this actual saints branded one yeah so these caught my eye so that was definitely a it was a better deal honestly yeah we paid 26 cents a bag on that deal yeah but so uh, we met her we got her bags and then we went to the the guy with the big buy and we we make that deal and then he said i have some more to show you i'm like okay so he brings us in and he had he had about 50 there were like about 50 to 60 of the smaller fifth th there's 10 here there's yeah. a bag and whenever you see the bags with bags inside um there's nine bags inside meaning this is 10 bags here so he had about 50 to 60 of these plus then he had that's where we actually got these there's, there's, and then, some of these have louisiana on them they're in there somewhere they have like the state on right them. and um so these but, were in his buy too yeah so we ended up paying 25 for about 60 more bags yeah and then he says wait i have something else to show you so then he walk he walks he walks to off to his bedroom leaving us standing there these two strangers standing there in his uh living room <laughs> and he comes back and he's wearing the robe he's like look at this and we're like oh yeah that's cool he's like so and so had it made for me they uh sent off and had it made i'm like oh that's really neat he's like you want to buy it <laughs> so candace went out at first we said no we don't want to buy it but and then candace is like oh wait okay i gotta go get more money out the truck for the extra 25 dollars." so she goes out to the, out there to the truck i'm making conversation with the guy and and i'm like i keep looking i'm like uh candace all you got to do is grab a few more bills and come back out and she's taking forever out there and i'm i start loading bags and then she finally comes in and she goes in and buys the robe for $30. I comped it. Um, there was a recent auction that ended three bidders and it ended at 112. So I felt comfortable paying the 30. You look really comfortable now. It's warm y'all. I'm not gonna lie. It's hot. Like, it's like a little smoking jacket. See, it's kind of short. Yeah. It actually fits. Oh, you know what's cool? Look, the pocket is a bag. I know. <laughs> you can like cinch up your pocket. <laughs> it's got like the black bags for the elbow patch. I know that's crazy. Look, you see how it says Crown. Look, it oh, says Crown Royal Country. Yeah, there's a Louisiana one. I don't even know what's on the back. Is it just plain bags? Yeah. Yep. It's there. And then the rope is the rope is that must just be some material it they is bought because it's um stretchy. It's like some right. velvet velour material they use. It's actually nice. It's really it's really neat if you're into that kind of thing. It's very it's gaudy. It'd be a fun little. I tell Lonnie it'd be fun like to wear this like to watch the LSU games because it's the colors you know <laughs> yeah like a little leisurely jacket or go like to the campground and sit around the fire in it yeah <laughs> but yeah that's what we've been up to today this and I, I think we can I don't know I, I we figure we could probably get somewhere around we're gonna sell we're gonna bundle them up obviously yeah and I, th I i don't know the exact number we're going for but i'm thinking you know around a dollar a bag or so not counting your special bags or whatever yeah. so yeah. we'll figure it out uh we've got enough room with what we bought out we've got room to maneuver to um yeah we're, we're playing around with like multi-quantity discounts and stuff like that we're gonna have to weigh them and try to figure out how we want to bundle them up, right so yeah but i'm def we're definitely gonna get them listed today yeah um uh, or at least get started on Mine's them anyway gonna work on those while i work on my monster high dolls um which if you see on the board those are the things i've listed so far so far let's see you've done 30 40 60 73 123 141 you've done like almost 160 so far you've only done uh seven items yeah i've got that whole bag so left. i hope you stay on that that kind of track for the rest of the 25 items that'd be awesome Even if they're ten dollars a doll which i know some of them are going to be way right more than that, but um uh, yeah one of the dolls i listed for 50 so. 10 would kind of be the baseline wouldn't it yeah that's awesome yep. you did good i think you did i think you killed it on this buy too it's crazy huh? just because i mean i know it looks a little imposing maybe but it's a t easy lister 
yeah. super like we'll have all that listed in no time yeah. uh one other thing i thought was interesting and when we were on the way i was like you know we got to be prepared for what we're going to say i said yeah you buy this many bags they're going to ask right so so i asked candace i said hey candace what what are you going to say when they ask what are you going to do with these and so the, the first buy the lady did ask me she goes are you making a quilt i said no i'm an ebay seller and she's like oh yes. she looked very unhappy about she didn't it. like that so i threw it back at her the, yeah. i said oh do you own a bar <laughs> <laughs> she said no this is I've just been saving them up for a couple of years. I'm like, okay. Okay, so that was 150 crown bags there. No story given. Like, yeah. And then the, the 400 bagger, I was like, okay, this guy must own a bar or something like that. And uh, while Candace is out, goes out to the truck to get the extra cash, uh, he's like, man, I just really like crown. <laughs> I'm like... I what? figured he did once he came out with the room. Right. Like, this is definitely a crown guy. <laughs> you know, that kind of gave it away why he asked him. But I that. think he said he drank like two and a half, two and a half uh, of two and a half of what, 1.75 liters a week. So this has been, this is probably about four years. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot of freaking crown, man. Yep. Uh, anyway, this is fun. It's gonna be fun. Um, can't wait to see what happens with them. <laughs> I'm just glad you're standing here next to 600 crown royal bags wearing a crown royal robe. Yeah, you don't see that every day. No, you don't. So that was uh, that was our day today so far. Yep. I'm gonna get to work listing these. And I'm gonna finish or at least try to finish my monster high dolls. Oh, you won't finish those. Today. I'm getting through them fast because I'm doing sell similar. Uh, okay. I have like a. a somewhat generic description now some of them like one of them was missing a tail i did throw that if there's anything major but yeah i'm getting through them pretty fast i think so you'll be done with them tomorrow probably oh yeah yep. that's good and i'll be done with these by tomorrow and then we can move on with other stuff yeah all the good storage auction stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be it for this one thanks so much for watching y'all and yeah hey if, if you get into the whole crown market just wait don't do it until we sell ours first yeah. okay give us a chance to get a head start <laughs> we, we need it a lot that we need to move i think we may be the uh single biggest reseller of crown bags on ebay at the moment maybe oh, i haven't looked <laughs> there's a lot out there thanks for watching y'all bye